Hello everyone, today I'm out here in the woods talking about my new favorite chainsaw. It is this really tiny DeWalt 12 inch cordless electric chainsaw. It actually surprised me a lot that I like this chainsaw so much. Living out here in the woods, I have quite a number of chainsaws and my former favorite is my trusty old Husqvarna here. This is the 375 XP. I actually have four different Husqvarna gasoline powered chainsaws. I have one that's a little bit larger than this. It has a five foot bar on it. And then I have several that are smaller than this. But this chainsaw right here has been the workhorse that helped us clear the pad where we ended up building our house, where everything else that's gone on here in the mountain garden has happened. This has been the primary one that has felled the large trees. And we got this one because when we first moved up here, one of our family members said, oh, you're moving to the country, you're gonna need a chainsaw. We said, don't worry about it, we've already ordered one, not gonna be a problem. Their chainsaw showed up before this guy. This is the one that we'd actually ordered. We went up to one of the redwood trees that we needed to cut down, cut all the way around it, and then the tree did not fall over. So that's when we needed a bar that was a little bit bigger, like right here. But the reality is that for most tasks out and around, a 12 inch bar is actually just fine. For instance, these oak trees right back here, I could actually cut one of these down with a 12 inch bar if I needed to. It's not ideal for these particular trees because as you can see, they're just a bit wider than that right there at breast height. And if you were to cut it right down there to the bottom, you would need the longer bar on that 357. But once the tree is cut down, this is an awful lot lighter than that Husqvarna 357, even with this larger battery pack on it right here. That is one of the nice touches. You can actually use DeWalt's 20 volt battery packs, their 20 volt and 60 volt battery pack combos like this. You can use their really slim battery packs that you find on their 20 volt uh, drills. You can use some of the other battery packs they have in their lineup. They'll all snap right in there. And if you want something with a bar that's a little bit longer, there is a 16 inch bar cordless version from DeWalt that uses the same battery pack, this 20 volt, 60 volt pack, but it will use the 60 volt side of it. In terms of overall weight, depending on the battery pack that you put on this saw, this could be one of the lightest chainsaws that you'll find easily available out there. And it is decently balanced. It is a little bit back heavy if you have this larger battery pack on there, but you can solve that and have a very well balanced saw if you choose one of the smaller packs that we also have. We have your pretty standard chain brake right up there. And then up here we have some very easy controls to adjust the tension. There's this knob right here. If I can move that in closer to the camera, this adjusts the chain tension right there. And then this knob is how you actually access the chain. It's really easy one step thing. So you don't have to have a scrunch around with you like you would on most gasoline chainsaws. Just undo that, pull that off. You have access to everything right there. And then we just screw it right back on there and has some little detents right there. You can hear them clicking so that way you don't over tighten that bolt. From the factory, it does come with an Oregon chain and an Oregon bar, but this particular chain and bar, I actually purchased separately. This is one of Oregon's new Power Sharp series. It's an easy, rapid sharpening chain. So if you are the kind of person that's really diving into some old dead stuff and you constantly need to sharpen your chain, this is just an awful lot handier. Now let's talk about some of the features that I really like. One of the first ones is this is not just a chain break physically, but it also is an electric one. So if I try and turn it on, it just doesn't even bother trying to spin until I pull that back. And then we can see the chain is spinning right there. You'll notice immediately as I start this up that it actually is considerably quieter than a gasoline chainsaw. That is definitely one of the primary benefits to this little guy right here is its overall quietness. Living out here in the woods, trees falling in the winter is a pretty common occurrence. And this is the chainsaw that we will routinely carry with us in the car, in the trunk, or in the back seat, even if we have to. It's pretty easy to carry because it doesn't seem to leak bar and chain oil. You put that in over here on this side of the saw. So once it is in a plastic bag or out there in the trunk, you don't have to worry about it. And you don't have to worry about it smelling like gasoline. That is the other nice touch. And obviously, although ear protection is always recommended, if you're out there on the side of the road chainsawing something out of the way so you can get to work, this is an awful lot quieter. So I don't really feel too bad about not having ear protection on the occasion when I do need to use this in an emergency. Obviously, eye protection is important. And uh, some folks out there really recommend chainsaw chaps. I find that they just get in the way. I prefer to be just a little bit more careful about exactly where I'm aiming the chainsaw. One of the other nice things about this is you'll notice how quickly the blade stops. So if I get this a little closer, you can see it spin up there and then stop. That is another really nice touch. And you'll notice that it's considerably faster stopping than the average gasoline chainsaw, whether we're talking about a big boy like this or about some of those smaller gasoline chainsaws out there. So if you're up in a tree and you're limbing something and you want it to stop just immediately, this is actually going to be probably a little bit safer. 
So how much will one battery last? Well, this is a six amp hour battery. There are smaller capacity batteries and larger capacity batteries available. I'll roll a clip here so you can see exactly how much cutting this six amp hour battery did. All that trimming and limbing was done with this one six amp hour battery. In addition to that, there were probably about two or three saplings that I cut down in advance of that clip, but you can get a general idea of how long this battery lasts. It actually lasts an awful lot longer than I thought. Now, as I said, this is ideally a small task chainsaw, keep that in mind, but something like this rotten tree right here is a pretty easy task for this to accomplish. You can't see it really in the frame of the camera, but it is definitely leaning that direction. So I'm really not gonna bother undercutting it because it's gonna fall over pretty easy with this little chainsaw right here. So instead, we'll just dive right on in. You can actually see that it cuts pretty rapidly with this Oregon chain. Now let's talk about some of the things that I don't like. The first thing that I noticed is that this chainsaw isn't well designed for undercutting. So if you have a log in this position, the ideal thing to do would be to undercut so that way it doesn't bind on the chain. But this chainsaw's design, if I pop this area open right in here, doesn't lend itself well to undercutting. You can actually see that that little plastic black bar right in there is what retains the chainsaw bar right inside and keeps it from moving up and down. And for some reason, it just seems to be more prone to bending and flexing and wearing if you're undercutting rather than making a standard cut. So that is something to keep in mind. The other two things that I noticed are we don't have the aggressive teeth that we find in most gasoline powered chainsaws right over here. Instead, it's just sort of a little plastic toothed area. The other thing worth noting, and really this is just more me than the saw, is that I seem to forget to fill this with bar and chain oil when I swap a battery because you will definitely run out of battery power before you run out of bar and chain oil. This actually holds a decent amount. And with a gasoline powered chainsaw, generally speaking, most of the bodies are designed so that way when you run out of gas, you're also running out of bar and chain oil as long as that bar and chain oil uh, setting is at its maximum. Bottom line, if you're looking for a trusty small battery powered chainsaw, I would definitely put this DeWalt 20 volt chainsaw on your list. This is an easy thing to carry in your vehicle if you need to do that sort of thing, or just have around for very light tasks. You're still gonna want a gasoline powered chainsaw at home, I would say, unless you're in an area where all you're doing is very minor gardening tasks. This would be great for someone that wants to limb trees that have one inch limbs or two inch limbs, something along those lines, moderate tasks in your backyard, that sort of thing. But if you're looking to do more heavy duty stuff, this is not going to cut it. And I suspect the 16 inch bar would not be too much better because the motor is just not gonna be as strong as some of those gasoline powered saws.